Hey everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for a Marcia exam. This is the physiology question. A 34 years old lady just undergone parathyroidectomy for primary hyperparathyroidism. Operation is difficult and all four glands are explored. The wound was clean and dry. At the conclusion of the procedure and a suction drain inserted on the ward, she becomes irritable and develop a stridor. On examination, her neck is soft and drain empty. Which of the following treatment should be tried initially? So, in the full scenario, uh, a 34 years lady undergone parathyroidectomy and difficult parathyroidectomy for this condition all four parathyroid gland are explored and but the operative field clear then it was closed and when the patient in the ward suddenly she became irritable and develop a stridor so first of all we have to find out the cause the cause may be to the four parathyroid gland explored so there is chance of damage of parathyroid gland so there the function of parathyroid gland may be lost so we have to keep in mind and now let's see the options options are administration of intravenous calcium gluconate administration of intravenous lorazepam removal of skin closure on the ward a direct laryngoscopy administration of calcium d3 orally that means the cole calciferol or orally so first of all here um, we can see the exploration of the parathyroid gland the exploration of the parathyroid gland may result in impairment of the blood supply of the poor parathyroid gland or injury to the parathyroid gland for this condition serum parathyroid level falls quickly as the parathyroid gland removed or parathyroid gland injured for lack of blood supply so parathyroid damage and parathyroid hormone release from parathyroid gland it absent or reduced very quickly so fissure of hypocalcemia develop why because the parathyroid hormone it is responsible to maintenance of normal calcium level so hypocalcemia develop and fissure of hypocalcemia uh, uh, present of the patient uh, we know that the calcium is a neurosedative so calcium calcium is neuro sedative so when there is the decrease of the calcium then excitability of the neurons such as here we can see neuromuscular irritability and laryngospasm develop so what we have to do we have to administer administrate calcium and we administer calcium gluconate then uh, there may be chance of content hematoma following surgery but in the question they denote that they are, uh, the drain is empty and there is no hematoma uh, to be another important here you can see the patient uh, uh, thyroid hormone level drops acutely after surgery stimulus to break down bone is removed bone remove calcium from the plasma and for this condition this clinical fissure develop and here we can see the hypocalcemia hypophosphatemia hypomagnesiemia and hyperkalemia so calcium phosphate magnesium they are reduced and potassium increases so now it is our answer which is the administration of intravenous calcium gluconate other options here the removal of the skin closure in the heart, it is not required because the neck is soft and drain empty so there is no contained hematoma within the wound